Oh God, my stomach. Oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've never had kidney stones, for men, they say it feels like giving birth through your penis with kidney stones. And we're going to talk about things you can do to prevent kidney stones, things you can do when you get kidney stones, and natural remedies that help dissolve and get them things out your body because they are terrible in this video. What's good, YouTube? You're back in the building with y'all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. The sex is hell host. Bringing you life gains financial. I mean, excuse me, life gains fitness. I'm sorry. And if you enjoy the content on this channel, please subscribe to this channel. Go check out the life gain financial channel and go check out my big channel that has 96,000 subscribers. I do reviews of everything on that channel. So if you've never had kidney stones, man, they are terrible. I got them for the first time ever in my whole entire life just this past year and they were traumatizing. So it had me feeling as if I had a stomach bug. You had this radiating pain in my lower back. I felt like I wanted to throw up. I was doubled over in, in the bed in pain. You couldn't get any relief. And finally, my wife who is a kidney doctor by the way, her link is in the video description if you want to go check her out. She's a nephrologist at Duke said, boy, you sound like you got a kidney stone. You need to go get a, uh, a CT scan to see what's going on. And I did, and they said I had a three millimeter stone. So let's talk about the two types of stones, predominantly two types of stones. You have calcium oxalate stones, and then you have calcium phosphate slash uric acid stones. And uric acid stones tend to come from someone who's eating a high protein diet or someone who's having, um, insulin issues and it all comes from your blood pH your urine pH being high that's where that one comes from and there's different ways you can go about fixing that particular version of kidney stone for one you can drink more natural lemon juice you can go get potassium citrate increase your water content if you've been feeling dehydrated those are some ways you can kind of fix those issues but I think for that particular issue the main thing you want to do because it seems so prevalent in individuals with insulin problems, you need to get your insulin under control if that one fits your parameters. The other one that we're talking about is the calcium oxalate kidney stone. And that one comes because you have a high amount of oxalate in your system with a low amount of citrate in your system. Those are the reasons why you might have that particular version of a kidney stone. And how do you fix that? Well, you got to talk about the foods in your diet. So foods that have high amounts of oxalate in them, and I'll leave a list down below, but you're talking about spinach, avocados, grapefruits, dates, figs, beets, almonds, red meat. All those things are high in oxalate. And when you have the condition, like I said, your oxalate is high, but your citrate is down, you want to replace, you get your citrate back up, remove the oxalate so those numbers can go down. And things that you can do to get your citrate up is drink more lemon juice, natural lemon juice. I'll leave a link. I'll leave a link for everything I'm talking about in my Amazon store. The link will be in the description from everything that I'm mentioning. Natural lemon juice or any mineral that has citrate on the end of it will work for you. And foods that can help you would be kale is reduced amount of, of oxalate, cabbage is good, cauliflower is good, cucumbers are good, and supplements you wanna have vitamin D3 and also vitamin K2. K2 helps you hold on to calcium in the bones so that it doesn't come out to the tissues. And there's one other supplement that I use that helped me get over my kidney stone and it was called Chanka Piera and it's right here, it looks like this. And this is my vitamin K2 that I take. And this right here helps to dissolve and even in some places bust up the kidney stone. I used it and I did wind up peeing out my kidney stone, but it wasn't as big as first noticed. And with any of this stuff, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you consult with your physician before you do it so that you can be on board with their plan. 
So you can cool believe when I figured out that all these remedies work, I had to talk to my wife about it because she wasn't having it until I talked to her about it. And after I did and I used it, these things work for me and they will definitely work for you. So take advantage of those steps. If you're eating foods that are high in oxalate, get rid of them, change them out for foods that are low in oxalate, um, eat food, I mean, start doing things that are high in citrate, such as lemon juice and citrate supplements. And if you've already got a kidney stone, go in my video description link, check out these two products. I promise you, it'll help you get out of that pain and help you get on the road to preventing further kidney stone issues in the future. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. You're still looking for a coach that can help you out? My link is in the video description. I would love to help you do some online coaching with you and get you back on a fitness and wellness plan that fits your needs. And until the next sex is hell video, I'll see you.